Good morning, friends. We are back on um, Fanny for the Soul, uh, the YouTube channel that interviews interesting people. Uh, today we have with us uh, Professor Jain Narlikar, uh, Padma Vibhushan, uh, and uh, 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 you know he uh, he's right here now on the screen. And uh, Professor Narlikar does not need an introduction in India and across the world. You know he is arguably the most famous. Um, astrophysicist and cosmologist uh, India has produced in the last 50 years. We are very, very privileged to have him on the show today. Uh, in, in the 1960s, uh, Professor uh, partnered with the, the famous astrophysicist, uh, Sir Fred Hoyle, uh, to write the hoyle narlikar theory of gravity, which made a lot of, uh, you know, which made waves in the 1960s. Um, later in 1988, uh, the Professor uh, Narlikar uh, founded the Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, an excellent research institution in uh, the city of Pune. And he uh, was the founder director. He's now Professor Emeritus at the same institute. But uh, more importantly, Professor has been known for his excellent work in popularizing science. You know, his, uh, the, his whole philosophy is that Science should be popularized at the grassroots level, and he has done yeoman service in that uh, area and that field. So let us talk to uh, the professor himself. You know, so I will start um, by um, you know asking him this um, very logical question. Uh, good morning, professor. Uh, good morning. <laughs> so nice to see you after so many years. You know, because uh, like I just told you a little little earlier that I used to be. Um, uh, you know, at the Ayuka almost every week as a science reporter. Mm -hmm. And you once famously told me, have you joined us? <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you told us, you met me in the lunch in the cafeteria, I think two consecutive days and you said, have you joined, have you joined Ayuka? You know, so that, that's uh, how much I, I personally loved Ayuka. Anyway, the very first question, um, uh, Professor, is um, please tell us about the Hoyle Narlikar theory of gravity, you know, I mean, in layman terms, you know, what is the magic of that theory, the Hoyle Narlikar theory of gravity? Okay, I will very briefly try to convey the sense behind it. So, uh, what you have to uh, think of is the following that supposing there is a small stone. Uh, on the street and is coming in your way, you lift it and put it away. But if there is an elephant sitting there and you want to it to move, you can't do it because it's much more difficult to shift that elephant. Mm -hmm. So what is it that makes a difference? The answer is it is inertia or the mass of the object if it's very heavy and cannot be shifted, it won't be. So the question was, where does the inertia come from? And Newton had said that inertia is the property of matter, but he did not go any further. And Einstein was more impressed by ideas of Mach. Mach was a philosopher come scientist, and Mach had said, that matter can be uh, this, uh, can have a inertia because it will have interaction with other matter in the universe. So it is not an isolated piece, but it is in a whole universe. So uh, you have to relate one to the other. That became a very difficult job. Einstein had tried it, but didn't work. So when we were working, Hoyle and I, well, on electric, electricity and magnetism, we found how electrical charges can be related to one to the other. And we felt that the same formula or similar formula can tell us how to relate uh, inertia. And fortunately, we managed to get a very elegant piece of work done on this. And that was uh, the hoyle narlikar theory, how inertia is related to the rest of the matter in the universe. 
and it was in a sense bringing einstein and mach together correct because uh, einstein was feeling that mach's idea should be uh, taken further but he had not done it but what we did was something like that okay. how 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 interesting you know thank you for that explanation um one thing professor can you tell us uh, uh, why professor um, hoyle and you uh, were uh, disagreed with the big bang theory you know uh, you kind of uh, both of you disagreed with the big bang theory how do you both big bang theory see the uh, idea of big bang is that there was nothing before and suddenly Okay. Yes. Yes. Please continue. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there was nothing before, but suddenly the whole universe was created in a gigantic explosion. Now, when you try to ask the physics, uh, 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 physicists, uh, what? Do, how? How do you explain this? The physicists would say, "Sorry." at this point uh, my fa physics fails then you go to the mathematician and ask can you tell me how to this describe big bang and he, he will say sorry it is all illegal because you are dividing zero by infinity infinity by zero all these things are happening so i can't uh, comment what mathematics should be applicable there so as you see basically it is a idea which has no basic uh, physical or mathematical structure and to say that the universe followed that uh, seems to me very uh, about to hoyle and me it seemed to very unnatural so this is basic reason how nice thank you for this simple Uh, and you know a uh, precise explanation it, you know you make uh, you make such difficult theories uh, sound so simple thank you thank you professor my uh, second question really is uh, the the country india was so proud of you at that when you uh, came out with that uh, hoyle narlikar theory that they awarded the awarded you with the padma bhushan at the age of 27 uh, when you were still at cambridge so uh, how did you react to such a big award at such a young age oh, what happened was uh, uh, i i was uh, certainly very much thrilled when this offer of uh, padma bhushan came but at the same time uh, my how did i know about it because i was in cambridge in england and uh, i got a message from my father and my father was in ajmer he was chairman of the rajasthan public service commission so he was approached by the uh, government of india saying that they wanted to reward me by this uh, particular title so um, uh, will i accept it if it was offered so <laughs> so my father had conveyed this to me and then uh, i said of course i it it, it is quite a big honor at um, this age so i will definitely be very proud of it and that is how it it happened uh, i believe the uh, president at that time was radhakrishnan and he was very impressed by what we were doing and that may have in initiated that procedure i'm sure i'm sure because i i think you know arguably you might be the youngest youngest indian ever to have got um, you know the padma bhushan i don't think anyone has got it at the age of 27 it's it's fascinating uh, i my next question professor is that you founded the inter university center for astronomy and 
astrophysics ayuka and and you know you are now the uh, professor emeritus there what is this special bond can you tell us about the special bond you have with ayuka ayuka patel sir well the uh, situation was like that that professor yashpal was the chairman of the university grants commission around 1985 86 or so and he felt that the university sector needed a center of excellence which helped all the people who were in universities students and st staff who are interested in astronomy and astrophysics they should be able to use this particular center that we he wanted to create so it was a nebulous idea and he called me and asked me whether i could put more meat into it and make it a, a little more uh, practical and definitive so i said i will try and i got uh, several scientists to come and take part in a brainstorming session and in the brainstorming we formulated uh, a booklet of rules do, do's and don'ts for such a center and we realized that there is no such center either in abroad in us or here uh, so we, it was completely new idea and we wanted to make it work so th that is how it started and yashpal of course when he got the booklet he uh, telephoned me and said look i have got your booklet and i will accept what all the recommendations and go ahead provided you are take the responsibility of making it up hmm. if you are not going to work on it then i am not going to do anything hmm. so he asked me what do you want to do so i i was telling in the midst of my lunch when he telephoned so i uh, said that i i will ask my wife and come back to you in a few minutes he said okay and then i talked to my wife and said uh, we said that we uh, our uh, young younger daughter second daughter was in uh, uh, iit uh, yes, j j e that oh, she was in twelve. entrance test and all that so she was going to be very busy so after she has successfully gone gone through this then i am willing to take up your uh, challenge. challenge so he said fine uh, that was only waiting for about 3 4 months more uh, which we did and i took up the challenge and uh, yashpal also said look there are people from your old institute tata institute who take up something new and then they come back and say oh the conditions there are so bad i can't work there mm -hmm. so you should not re return like that you are not allowed to return mm -hmm. so those conditions i took as a great challenge and that is how ayuka came up fascinating fascinating so um, i also wanted to uh no that you know when you were a director at ayuka um you you sent out you sent in in order to uh, make astronomy and astrophysics popular you sent out uh, a lot of your scientists across india to speak in various colleges to promote astrophysics uh, can you tell us a little about that passion because that was something a very important step forward while you were at ayuka to different universities to tell people about your yeah. institute and attract them there yeah okay. you see uh, when ayuka was being set up uh, we uh, that is some two or three of us uh, naresh dadhi ajit kembavi and myself the other three of us and sanjeev durandar uh, we uh, decided to go around the country to different centers or uh, universities 
and tell them that such a thing is coming up you are most welcome to use it and we can keep you informed if you are interested so that way they uh, first did not know what it was and what its purpose was he also some of them also said uh, if ugc is going to give money to this project uh, the, uh, the money to us that is in the university that is being diverted so we will get less money they looked at the negative side so yashpal said don't worry you, i am not going to affect your university okay. grants but this is extra that i am going to produce for uh, this particular center so that is how it, it came about fantastic fantastic and people uh, now university people are appreciative of the facilities that we are providing absolutely because because i am of the firm opinion that um, thanks to ayuka uh, india has got so many talented astrophysicists and cosmologists now thanks to the efforts put in by you and your team you know over the years um i'll i'll come now to a very interesting uh, topic really uh, the marathi uh, the late marathi humorist pula deshpande pula deshpande uh, was a uh, and his wife um, you know uh, sunita tai were very good friends of yours and uh, they contributed financially to um, the uh, you know muktangan science explore exploratory for children inside ayuka so while he was a man of literature and art he contributed towards science so can you tell us about the bond with pula deshpande the special relationship with pula deshpande with well, uh, pula deshpande uh, was a, a personal friend and mrs deshpande was also a personal friend and we had a very good interaction uh, earlier when he visited ayuka on some occasions to see what we were doing and what impressed him most was the work we were doing for science popularization uh, he felt that and uh, sunita bai was also involved and uh, they both felt that it is necessary to have some kind of stable support for what we were doing and they will be happy to give some donation for running those activities now people told uh, pula deshpande that that is a typical kind of uh, pune uh, attitude they said look uh, since he is a uh, uh, calling you to to come and give uh, this um, kind of donation donation uh, what why do you give him give this organization any donation because they get it all from the government anyway so i had to explain to pula and uh, sunita bai that uh, government does not give us money for Uh, this kind of science popularization effort we have to raise it ourselves and therefore uh, we are certainly grateful if anybody comes and gives money for our activity so uh, pula deshpande and sunita bai gave us a handsome donation we set up a building that building was called pulasti now pulasti is a star among the seven stars uh, saptarshi so uh, pulast uh, was the name i chose because you get something like pula deshpande's uh, signature was like that pula you know, and, and you find that so uh, it came up and uh, we found that lot of different talents could be used for popularizing science it is not a routine job and i was fortunately uh, fortunate in having good uh, assistance from various people 
uh, including uh, Arvind Gupta. Arvind Gupta, who was, of course, uh, very good in dealing with children, and he produced toys of which were based on scientific laws. So the toys would work wonderfully, and then the students would say, "How? Why is it working? How is it working?" So uh, he would come out and explain how they work, what is the science behind it. So the students would come to appreciate that science is not something to be uh, mugged up and produced in the exam. It is something that is telling us how to live, how to get the best out of the living, out of the, all these various interactions with nature, we could understand better. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Professor, uh, I, the next question is kind of follows from this question. And that is, you have been a passionate science popularization person in the sense you have always gone to grassroots levels and explained science in the uh, language of Maharashtra, let us say in Marathi to uh, Marathi schools and to children in villages and explain to them the beauty of science. So, uh, for instance, uh, uh, you were you are also of the opinion that astronomy should be taught as a part of science in school curriculum. So, what do you want to say about that? You know, how why is astronomy so important in science? Uh, why why do you want to see? Astronomy, uh, unfortunately, in the minds of a lot of people, astronomy means uh, what they understand by astrology. That is, uh, these various planets and so on, so-called planets, Rahu and Ketu and all these, they affect our life. And we have to uh, allow for various uh, ways of uh, dealing with bad effects that these uh, planets have produced on us. Now, this is all bunkum, and we uh, had to clear the, uh, the uh, what you call uh, slate on which to rewrite what is astronomy, why is it part of science, why is it an important part of science, and how we could in, introduce it at different levels uh, in the school as well as in the university. So we have given this kind of uh, suggestion and people, and some of those suggestions have been used. Uh, and uh, I hope that more uh, and more popularity of astronomy will come in the future. I'm already seeing the effect on little children, little children. How nice, how nice. Uh, Professor, uh, you have been a, a prolific writer for, uh, you know, along with your science, you have always been a prolific writer. And uh, in 2014, the Saitya Academy uh, presented you with the award for writing your Marathi autobiography, you know, Achar Nagrantle Maji Vishwa. Now, what is this, um, uh, you know, your, uh, what do you say, love affair with writing? You know, you have always been a passionate writer. Can you tell us about why writing is so close to your heart? Well, basically, I would say that I have been enjoying storytelling. It started with telling stories to my daughters in, when they were very small and that of course uh, and my my own mother when i was small she used to read from various books stories and uh, i then got interested and started reading myself so uh, when something is being done in front of you you get affected by it. That is the general principle. And here in this particular case, I found that writing 
uh, science fiction stories produces uh, a good readership. Similarly, I felt uh, that uh, I, I could write uh, more about science in general and explain why it is such so important. So all these, while I was doing it, I felt that I should write a story of myself, how I learned and how I sort of visited. It's called the story of four, four cities. That is Banaras in the uh, first part, Cambridge in the second part, then Mumbai in the third part, and Pune in the fourth part. So my tale of four cities, as it is called in English, and was first written in Marathi. And Sahit Academy uh, uh, experts uh, felt that it was, it deserved a, the award uh, for uh, a new kind of literature and writing. And I was certainly very surprised when this was given because I had written something which I felt uh, I wanted to tell people. So that it was certainly if uh, telling people, people enjoy it and you, they re react back by awarding you, that's very good. <laughs> it's, the, it's an icing on the cake. <laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> Professor, here I want to tell the audience uh, about a little about the kind of person you are, you know, a lot of uh, people in the world of science know that, but I want to just tell the audience. You know, uh, um, dear friends, uh, as a journalist in Pune, I have interacted with uh, Professor Narlikar for several decades, but there was one incident, you know, there was, uh, which, which uh, uh, exemplifies his large heart. A uh, young student came from Kerala. He was in, um, you know, let me just call him, you know, um, Rakesh uh, for now. And Rakesh came from Kerala, by, he ran away from home, he was a class 12 student and he wanted to meet Professor Narlikar and wanted to become an astrophysicist. He came to my newspaper office and uh, in the middle of the, I mean at 8 in the night. And I uh, somehow um, uh, was very concerned and I took an appointment with Professor Narlikar for 9.30 in the night. And Professor Narlikar agreed to meet this boy and counseled him, after which Rakesh went back to Kerala and finally I am happy to say he's a computer engineer and is doing very well in life. So uh, Professor, you remember this incident about that boy from Kerala. Can you, can you, you know, uh, t t can you tell us what made you yes. meet that boy? You can tell in your words that the Kerala boy coming with him. Oh, that uh, uh, was an experience I have been receiving postcards from various people, various school children. And uh, when those postcards started coming, uh, I had actually said to them that uh, I, I won't give you any autographs, but if you write and ask me a question, I will reply by postcard. So that established a kind of dialogue with younger generation, which I naturally had. And uh, some of them, uh, if they happened to be in Pune, would come and want to meet me or uh, ex express their own uh, uh, appreciation of what I was doing. So th these were the second type. But what surprised me most was one um, boy, uh, I think he was 10th or 12th standard, right. Uh, from Kerala, he came up, suddenly turned up without any notice and he said, I want to work with you. So I had to explain to him that uh, you can't uh, suddenly start working on astronomy. You need to have a good foundation of physics and mathematics. So uh, you, go, you should go back and learn more. And if you are interested still, after say four or five years, come back to me and we will uh, work out something. So he was very uh, uh, disappointed in a sense because I did not take him as a student. 
but at least I hope he understood what was the uh, implication of doing astronomy. It one has to do it seriously, so one needs good foundations. That that was the example, which was very unusual. Thank you so much, uh, Professor. Because uh, uh, I'm happy to share that that same boy is doing very well today as a computer engineer. So though he did not become an astrophysicist, he's a successful computer engineer in Kerala. I'm in touch with the same boy. <laughs> And I'm, I'm sure he will like to see this video, you know. So uh, th thank you. Thank you uh, so much, uh, Professor Nadlikar and um, also Mrs. Nadlikar for helping out with this interview. And uh, very, very happy to have interacted with you. And let's keep in touch and may God give you good health. Thank you. Thank you.